Hey guys, it's your boy Pop here. Uh, just going on my morning walk. I figured I'd talk to you guys real quick about an upcoming ICO that I am super, super excited about. And I think you guys will be excited about too. Um, it's an opportunity to make a lot of money as an investor, I think. Definitely as an investor. Um, but also if you're really interested in the new digital economy and uh, the way the wave is coming in, I honestly think uh, the Bancor team and the Bancor protocol more specifically um, <clears throat> will be very interesting to you because I definitely see them playing a huge role in uh, how money is exchanged in, uh, in the future. So uh, what is Bancor? Um, Bancor protocol, what their, their, their goal is to create a uh, a system where you can make uh, user generated tokens uh, called smart tokens and they're trying to solve this issue of liquidity um, basically you know nowadays when you make an ICO you raise all this money that's great but you know as an investor I, I want to feel confident that I can get some sort of return on my investment if I want to invest large amounts of money you know that's why just about every single video you watch or every single person who's trying to get you to invest in cryptocurrency will always say the same thing you know always invest what you're not afraid to lose <laughs> right that's 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 all they ever say and you know it, it's 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 risky because at the end of the day there's so many factors that go into whether or not you'll be able to see a return on investment um one big major factor is, and this one is the one they're trying to solve, is the fact that the markets right now, you know, you've got, it, it, you know, cryptocurrency at its core is supposed to be this decentralized thing. But at the moment, we don't have any real decentralized exchanges. Um, we have centralized exchanges and there's only, you know, a few major ones that people use. And of those major ones, uh, like Poloniex and Bittrex and um, Bitfinex, like you know, it every you know couple weeks you hear something in the news about them, and you know they got DDoS attack, and they're you know might be facing some sort of criminal charges, or they might be stealing money. I mean that is just as an investor, you know that's the kind of thing that's stopping. The big, big money flowing into cryptocurrency. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of thing that makes me think if I got a million dollars or a couple million dollars, you know, that I could invest, you know, I, I'm going to think twice now because not only is none of this regulated, there's no SEC, there's no body, you know, taking care of your money. It's at your own risk, right? Which is the beauty. But at the same time, you know, it, it's really a roadblock, I feel like. And as we approach, the hundred billion dollar market in cryptocurrency, this is gonna become more and more apparent. So it's it's a problem that needs to be solved right now. And out of uh, great problems come great solutions. And I think Bancor is, is really got a super, super cool and needed idea. Um, yeah, they, they, I mean, I'm gonna post a video um, I would say definitely go to their website and check out their um, videos on the Bancor protocol. They do a lot of interesting um, explaining on how exactly the math works and the algorithm works. But basically, the, the Bancor token um, is going to have reserves of Ether in the Bancor token, right? I think 20% reserve Ether in the Bancor token. And then they're going to use the Bancor token to fund new user-generated currencies built on Bancor. Kind of in the same way that Waves works, you can make your own cryptocurrencies. Well, it's that type of deal. Except now, you know, you can always exchange whatever token you have created for Bancor tokens. And Bancor tokens are going to have value of the market, basically. So the Bancor token, as you can see, you know, will go up 
Baycore token will go up as more and more generated currencies are built on top of it in the same way that Ethereum will. So like I said, that right there alone is very bullish, very needed. And it, you know, you can only imagine as the entire market continues to grow and a large portion of that I would say is Ethereum. You know, people say Bitcoin is the most dominant cryptocurrency. And yeah, it's true for the most part, but you know, if you count Ethereum and everything built on top of it, you know, Gollum, Augur, these sorts of things. I mean, it's only a matter of time. It, it's getting real close. That gap is real close, you know? So, like I said, we, we might be moving towards uh, an Ethereum dominant, dominated crypto space. And something like Vancouver that's built directly on top of the Ethereum blockchain that's going to allow people to come in people with not a lot of technical knowledge and not a lot of technical savvy and who don't know how to necessarily program and fund their projects okay well now you're going to be able to do all that right and it's you're going to be able to draw if you're if your idea is good you're going to be able to draw investors because there's not going to be this concern of oh will i be able to get my money back you know <laughs> will, it, will this token be worth anything because it's got it's on Bancor, so you know you're going to be able to exchange it and that that right there you know super 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 duper powerful and like i said i don't know what what these um tokens are going to go for in the beginning i imagine it's going to start out pretty low because they're going to need a large amount of supply obviously and i would i would i would imagine it's something similar to ethereum Honestly, I would say like maybe 100 million tokens, right? Um, maybe more, maybe maybe two, 300. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see on the specifics of that. It could be. I'm not 100% sure on that. But the ICO, guys, is in a couple days. I think June 6th. So that's... Uh, or maybe it's June 9th. June 6th or June 9th. It's in a couple days. I'm going to... Uh, post in the description the exact date for the ICO to give you guys a chance to uh, participate in it But I just wanted to make this video and make you guys aware of um, The Bancor team and just how big this could be, you know When if you would have bought Bitcoin back and when it's first inception in 2008 You know, we all know how much money you would have right now even a small investment same thing with Ethereum, you know, if you if you bought at the ICO price, I mean, you are well off at this point, at this point, you know, for others who did not, like myself, you know, we're, you know, we have seen the gains, you know, we can tell you firsthand that, you know, it was the best investment most any of us have ever made, even if you bought it $10. Um, yeah, and I think Bancor has all the opportunity it has everything it needs. It has a good team. It has a successful team. Um, it, these are the same guys, by the way, who made um, the head guy, the CEO of Bancor, is the guy who created MetaCafe. And he was talking about how he created MetaCafe, and this was before YouTube, and how you know they were the most popular um, video platform on the web. And then YouTube came along and pretty much took advantage of the long tail and the long tail is basically you know all these people you know meta cafe focused on being the number one video platform for the number one videos and then youtube came along and said well we're going to try and slip in on the long tail and take everybody's videos and and pretty much market you know everybody's videos and and become the platform for for not just the best and greatest content but everybody's content and that's where youtube ultimately um <laughs> succeeded and so like i said this is a team that has been through it they have they have taken losses they have taken you know uh failures which is what you need to be a strong you know person person ultimately but you know especially in business you know you can't win them all you got to learn your lessons and you got to uh, be a better, you know, person and investor and uh, entrepreneur. But uh, like I said, um, this this is a really, really, really good opportunity. Um, these guys seem super passionate. You know, they've been working to try to do this with Bitcoin before Ethereum even 
came into the picture and you know it just wasn't feasible but now with the smart contract system that ethereum uh offers it's finally seeming possible and you know you you should watch this guy's i forget his name but he's he's the he's the ceo of bancor and you should watch this guy's eyes just light up just light up when when he's talking about you know this protocol and how it's going to affect um things going forward and and the way we exchange money in the new digital economy um yeah I, i'm just thinking about it right now and it, it honestly it gets me excited you know because i i think about the possibilities for something like this and you know in the future you know i think everybody's trying to say okay is bitcoin going to be the currency that we all exchange with right is, is ethereum going to be the currency that we all exchange with but like what if what if it's neither what if it's no like one currency you know what i'm saying like it's every community every state every maybe even your job has instead of giving you shares in the company they issue you a token, you know what I'm saying? They issue you a currency that could possibly go up in value, you know what I'm saying? Depending on the growth of the company, you know what I'm saying? So that's capitalism and like a kind of socialism in a way, <laughs> like mixed in this like Nirvana way that, you know, was never possible in the old world. But like I said, that's the beauty of this new world, you know? and 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 like I said, that's that's just super, super, super exciting to think that you know you would just just by working for a company or living in a community, you know, we all should benefit off the success of our community. You know what I'm saying? And and it's and people should not have to worry about this corruption at the top. You know my mayor's corrupt my governor's corrupt he's not going to do what i say or they're not going to do what i say and it's all you know you the money just flows in at the top and everybody else at the bottom is just kind of screwed right but maybe some sort of decentralized governments for a whole community for a whole state you know and in a way that you know you couldn't just pay off the people at the top you know you you everybody is benefiting you know what i mean by your community doing well in a much more apparent way so you know it, it would just cause to me it, it's just it's just so huge guys so i just i just want to make this video and just talk about it a little bit um i'm definitely super excited about this i will be investing in the bank or ico i encourage you guys to take a look at it and do some more research and let me know what you think in the comments below if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe i will be making much more videos um follow me on steam it as well i'm posting on steam it every single day now um i'm really enjoying the steam it uh thing and uh yeah just let me know guys thanks so much for watching this video and have a good day